Make sure y'all check out Flat Truck and YouTube. Like, comment, subscribe, turn on the noti bell so you get notifications every time they make a upload. Get active. AKMJ Wells Production. Hey. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm oh, well, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. Hey, I got a question for you. Like, what what do you consider to be like like girl code? Like when you and your girls y'all hanging out or y'all doing whatever, what do you consider to be girl code? What do you mean what do I consider to be girl code? I mean there's different rules. Like it depends on you said that. Like my friend. Yeah, like I'm saying, like you and your girls, y'all go out, or y'all mm -hmm. going out of town, or whatever, however. Like, what do you consider to be girl code? Like, you got a, you got a friend or something, you know, that maybe, you know, single and, you know, she ready to mingle, do whatever, or whatnot, and and you got this one friend that might got a big mouth or something. And she come back and she just start telling everybody, like, is that breaking girl code? I guess, yeah, you could, if you want to call it that, yeah. If, if that's my friend, even if it weren't my friend, especially if they weren't my friend, it's not my business. But, yeah, I would, I'm not going to tell what anybody does right. in their personal time. That's, that's not my place. Okay. You know? It's just that's not my place to tell, especially if they're single. Right. So what if they married or something more? You know what I'm saying? Like, do you do you do you do you go to that other one's significant other and say, hey, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't want to be the bearer of bad news, but you know. Personally, I wouldn't because if I'm gonna be around someone like that in our personal time, then that means that, that person is my friend, and I wouldn't go behind my friend's back. That means they trusted me, you know, to do those things in front of me. I would talk to that person. I wouldn't go behind their back and speak with their significant other because that's not my place right would you pull them to the side like later after the fact and be like hey you know i ain't got nothing to do with what you got going on but you know can you kind of not do that around me or would you just be like hey that's you i ain't got nothing to do with it i would probably say something to them um about it um and I would, I would let them know that, you know, I didn't approve of it. And yeah, I would wish you wouldn't do those things, in, you know, in front of me, whatever you're doing, I don't want to know about it. Um, yeah, I would, I would let, the, I would let that person know. So but do y'all, so, I so, so, so do y'all sit down as a group or something? Say like all of y'all who went together, do y'all sit down as a group and like check this person and be like, hey, look, whatever we do is what we do, you know, don't be telling what we doing when we doing whatever we go when we go places and we hanging out and stuff like that don't be telling what we doing what we do is what we do mm, that's kind of like an unspoken thing like you know but i but my real friends i i would feel comfortable talking to them and they feel comfortable to, comfortable talking to me uh, about those things and i have friends that'll tell me because my real friends know my husband as well and they'll say you know, don't do anything around me because, you know, they'll say they're going to tell my husband or whatever. But, I mean, I don't I do not do anything like that anyways. But they, they say they'll tell because they're friends with my husband as well. They don't even want to know because they don't want to be in that, put in that predicament or that position to where, you know, right. my Lord, my Lord, more loyalty towards you or towards, you know, your husband right. who's also my friend. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, so let's use a scenario then. Say like y'all at you know bachelorette party or something like that, and you know the strippers come in and all like that or whatever. And the next thing you know, you hear your friend in the back getting knocked out, like getting that thing towed up. Then one of the people who was there go and run their mouth. How does that situation play out? Um, another person that not me or not my friend but somebody else i mean i i don't agree with that i don't think you know you should tell um like i said that person's single they can do what they want to do or whatever you don't i, I me personally i'm not i'm not gonna tell anybody's business like that i if you're my, if you're my friend and i will have a discussion with you 
you that's know, what I'm saying. Me. Like, you know, it's like y'all y'all are a group of friends, but this person just so happens to be single. But, you know, she just don't really want to put a business out there like that. But then you got this one other friend. She just told everybody. Like, do y'all bring her together as a group and say, hey, look, that wasn't for you to tell. You know what I'm saying? What I choose to do is what I choose to do or what she chooses to do is what she, cho you know what I'm saying? That probably, that's never happened before, but pro probably, I mean, I know I would say something to that individual, like, you know, that you shouldn't be telling other people's business like that. I mean, my opinion is I, w I wouldn't agree with that. So, yeah, like, you know, it, that probably would be how it would go down. As a group, we would say something to that person, um, especially if we all agree that that person shouldn't be telling somebody else's personal business. We're right. all grown. And, you know, if she, if, that, if the person that was in the situation, if they wanted anyone to know, then they let them tell it. Right. But otherwise, you know, that's, you weren't in the room with them. You weren't there. You weren't partaking or participating. And it's not your place to tell. Right. 